The intent of this video is to compare the World War II kill ratio of the B-17 and B-24 bombers versus the B-29 bomber. This chart outlines the size and performance differences between the heavy bombers adopted by the U.S. Army Air Forces in World War II. A kill ratio is defined as the number of credited fighter interceptors destroyed divided by the number of bombers destroyed by enemy aircraft. The kill ratio values are for air-to-air -air engagements. Aircrafts destroyed on the ground due to bombing or strafing are not included in the plane's air-to-air -air kill ratio. Two parameters are needed to define a kill ratio. The numerator is the number of credited enemy aircraft destroyed by bomber gunners. The denominator is the number of bombers destroyed by enemy aircraft. Let's start with the number of bombers destroyed by enemy aircraft. This chart documents the number of heavy bombers, medium bombers, and fighters destroyed by enemy aircraft over Nazi-occupied Europe. The columns of U.S. heavy bombers destroyed per month by enemy aircraft is highlighted. The source of the data is a 337-page December 1945 Army Air Forces Statistical Digest of World War II. The data is valid for the 8th U.S. Army Air Forces operating out of Great Britain. The 15th Army Air Force bombers operating out of the Mediterranean are not included. The heavy bomber data includes both B-17s and B-24s. A plot of the tabular data is shown here. The x-axis is a month and year. The y-axis is the number of bombers destroyed per month by enemy aircraft. The line in the body of the chart tracks the number of bombers destroyed per month by enemy aircraft. There was a dramatic reduction in bomber shot down by enemy aircraft after June 1944. The destruction of the Luftwaffe occurring over the previous five months to support the D-Day landings was now paying off. There were also greater fighter escorts available during this period. A total of 2,452 8th Army Air Force B-17s and B-24 bombers were destroyed by enemy aircraft. We now have the denominator value to attain a kill ratio. An enemy aircraft will be considered destroyed if the following is observed based on this declassified June 1945 report. The enemy aircraft has been seen to crash, disintegrate in the air, or be enveloped by flames, captured in friendly territory, or the pilot bailed out. This chart documents the number of enemy aircrafts destroyed per month by the 8th Army Air Force's heavy bombers. The tabular data is plotted here. The x-axis is a month and year. The y-axis is the number of enemy aircraft destroyed per month by bomber gunners. There were 6,098 claimed enemy fighters destroyed by the bomber gunners. The B-17 and B-24 bombers to enemy aircraft kill ratio equates to 6,098 divided by 2,452 or a kill ratio of 2.49 to 1. That's 2.49 enemy aircraft destroyed by bombers for every bomber destroyed by enemy aircraft. So what type of enemy aircraft were bomber gunners claiming to have destroyed? This declassified 1945 8th Army Air Force report outlines the model of German enemy aircraft the bomber gunners destroyed. The Messerschmitt Me 109 and the Focke-Wulf F-190 single-engine interceptors comprised 81% of the planes the bomber gunners destroyed. Images and flight parameters for each of these aircraft are shown in these World War II bomber gunner aircraft recognition charts. Bomber gunners also claim to have shot down 57 Messerschmitt Me-262 jet fighters in air-to-air -air combat. Couple thoughts regarding overclaiming kill credits. Enclosed is a snippet regarding kill claims from a declassified 687-page Air Force report titled USAF Credits for the Destruction of Enemy Aircraft World War II. The word of a claimant alone has never been accepted as sufficient evidence to establish victory credit. Some kind of confirmation such as a witness or gun camera footage has been necessary to establish credit. One issue that occurs during battle is multiple gunners firing at the same interceptors. Bombers flew and fought in tight formations or combat boxes consisting of 36 to 54 aircraft. Multiple top turret gun stations from these bombers could all fire on the same target. 
verified claim credit may be difficult, if not impossible, to establish. Post-war records review have shown that bomber-gunner claims on some missions were around 10 times the actual number destroyed. Bomber Command realized that bomber gunners were overclaiming the number of kills. This 1945, 206-page, 8th Army Air Force tactical development document discusses the overclaiming of kills by bomber gunners. The report indicates that elimination of duplicate bomber gunner claims was never solved satisfactorily. However, Bomber Command did reevaluate bomber gunner claims, attempting to establish more realistic values. The report goes on to say that fighter claims were deemed more accurate due to fighter camera footage available for review. The X axis is a month and year. The Y axis is the number of enemy aircraft destroyed per month. The area plots in the chart are the number of enemy aircraft destroyed by bomber gunners or fighters. The dash line represents the estimated Bomber Command's reevaluation of bomber gunner claims. The reevaluated bomber claims area is shaded for clarity. The area above the dashed reevaluation line represents the bomber gunner overclaims. The reevaluated enemy fighters destroyed claims are roughly one third the original claim values. Based on this data, the number of enemy aircraft destroyed by bomber gunners, as shown previously, should be reduced by two-thirds from 6,098 to 2,032. This will, in turn, drop the bomber kill ratio from 2.49 to 1 to 0.83 to 1. B-29 bomber gunner claims were considered as valid as fighters due to gun cameras at the turrets and not flying in formation while on nighttime missions. Non-formation flying would reduce susceptibility of duplicate gunner claims. This September 1945 operations report outlines the number of B-29 shot down by enemy aircraft flying in the 20th and 21st Bomber Commands. A total of 83 B-29s were shot down in World War II. This chart from the same report lists the number of destroyed enemy aircraft by B-29 bomber gunners at 969. No need to reevaluate the B-29 bomber gunner claim kills. The B-29 bombers World War II kill ratio equates to 11.7 to 1. The B-29's kill ratio is 14 times the B-17-B-24 kill ratio. Another consideration is the number of rounds fired to destroy an enemy aircraft. This declassified 1945 operations report documents the rounds of ammo expended per each enemy aircraft destroyed by bomber gunners. This page reflects data collected in 1942 and 1943. This page reflects data collected in 1944 and 1945. The values varied wildly from 2,106 in September 1942 to 2,742,000 in February of 1945. The February 1945 value should be considered an outlier since it is well above any other month. On average, B-17 and B-24 gunners expended 22,510 rounds per each enemy aircraft destroyed. This value is based on the average value of the database and removing the February 1945 outlier. This is a snippet page from a February 1945 operations analysis report evaluating the combat performance of the B-29 gun system. The document states B-29 gunners expended 3,300 rounds per each enemy aircraft destroyed. The B-17-B-24s expended 6.8 times the number of rounds to destroy an enemy aircraft than B-29s. In summary, the kill ratio of the B-29s is 14 times that of the B-17-B-24s kill ratio. This takes into account the Air Force's re-evaluation of claim kills in the European theater. The B-29 gun system is also at least 6.8 times more combat accurate than the B-17-B-24s gun system, where combat accuracy is measured by the number of rounds expended to destroy an enemy aircraft. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing to the channel, World War II U.S. Bombers.